Hello, this is Nick with Nick'sComputerFix.com and here is a short video on how to transfer iTunes library to a new computer. Okay, step one, copy iTunes library from your old computer. Okay, on our old computer, I'm going to go ahead and open up iTunes. And then I'm going to go up to the Tools menu and I'm going to click on Edit and I'm going to scroll down to Preferences and uh, I'm going to go over to the Advanced tab and uh, in the Advanced tab I'm going to make sure I know the location of my iTunes media folder in my case it is located on my C drive under user slash nick slash music slash iTunes slash um, iTunes media and uh, yours may look similar to this or be entirely different just uh, make note of where your iTunes media folder is located because we're going to be going there in a few seconds. Um, before we leave here, um, I want to make note of this. If you have this checked off, that's cool. Um, if you don't, we just need to make a, a slight change or a, uh, uh, do an additional step, rather. And uh, what it is is copy files to iTunes media folder when adding to the library. And uh, let me go ahead and get out of this, and I'll explain what that does. If I have um, uh, my music files spread out all over my computer, and for instance, for this demo, uh, this demonstration here, I uh, placed a music file, um, B52 song, on my desktop. And if I was to import this by dragging and dropping it into the iTunes library here, um, it go ahead, it goes ahead, and um, you know you can see the song there. But uh, in reality it has not moved it into the iTunes media folder it only has made a reference to uh, the location of this song within the iTunes application so uh, in order to consolidate all of my, all of my songs that I may or may not have spread out all over my computer in different locations um, I want to go ahead and uh, click on file and go down to library and uh, click on organize library and uh, click on consolidate files and uh, this is pretty cool. What this does is puts copies of all those media files used by iTunes in the iTunes media folder and leaves the original files in the current location. So basically, all those music files I may or may not have spread out all over my computer that I simply imported into um, iTunes and um, they're a uh, reference. Now I'm going to be able to put those into the iTunes folder so that I can copy those over to my new computer. All right, and I'm going to click on OK here. And uh, that happened almost instantaneously. But if you have a lot of songs, um, hundreds or thousands, it's going to take a few minutes to uh, a few hours. OK, um, the next item, let's go ahead and close this out. And uh, let's go ahead down to the Start menu here and go to Computer. And on Windows XP, it's going to say My Computer because we want to go into My Computer. And we want to go to that location where our iTunes media folder is located. And mine was located on my C drive under Users, under Nick, and then under My Music, right there, iTunes. And um, I want to go ahead and make a copy of that by right clicking and saying Copy. And that copies iTunes into my computer memory. And this will allow me to. Um, paste this, copy it onto, and pa paste and copy it onto um, a removable disk. In my case, it's a uh, USB flash drive. It can be an external drive, but uh, in my case, it's a removable um, USB flash drive. And I'm going to highlight that, and I'm going to right-click and paste that iTunes from my computer memory into or onto my um, USB flash drive. Now, uh, just make sure that if you have thousands of songs that you have a... Um, USB flash drive or an external drive that's large enough to accommodate all of your songs. Okay, step two, copy your iTunes library to your new computer. Um, I'm going to go ahead and plug um, my USB flash drive from my old computer into my new computer here that I'm on. I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. And uh, I'll get this prompt. I can easily open the folder to view my files on my Windows Explorer. If you don't get this prompt, but don't don't sweat it. Um, go ahead and click on your Start menu, and you can click on Computer or My Computer here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and utilize this uh, prompt here, and I'm going to click on Open Folders. And um, as you can see, 
takes me to my um, USB flash drive which is letter E on this computer and I'm going to highlight iTunes which is on the USB flash drive and that's the uh, the iTunes media folder that I copied onto my USB flash drive from my old computer and I'm going to right click on that and I'm going to say copy and that copies it into my computer memory on my new computer but not on my computer yet so uh, what I want to go ahead and do is determine where my um, iTunes media folder location is on my new computer it should be in the same location but I'm just going to double check I'm going to open up iTunes and by the way as you can see there's nothing in the um, iTunes application here um, there is no music no apps no playlists um, because this is a new install on the new computer and uh, let's see let's go up to edit and preferences and go to the advanced tab and as you can see my default um, location for iTunes media folder is the same as it was on my old computer um, C slash um, uh, C colon slash users slash Nick slash music slash iTunes slash iTunes media. Okay, so that's where I want to go. I'm going to go ahead and get out of this by saying cancel because I don't want to make any changes. And I do want to close iTunes because I can't make changes on iTunes folders when it's open. All right. And I'm going to go right back into the um, my computer here. Uh, start and go on computer. And, and now I'm going to go ahead and go to that location that I saw within um, my iTunes application there. And that was uh, on my C drive, uh, users, uh, Nick, and then it was uh, my music. And there's my iTunes library. Now, as you can see on my new computer, uh, when iTunes installs, uh, is a fresh install, um, it creates an iTunes folder, but these, these folders and these uh, files, they're empty. There's no music or apps in them. So what I want to go ahead and do on the new computer is right-click here and uh, delete the um, the empty iTunes uh, folder. Okay. And as you remember, um, I did copy um, off my USB flash drive uh, into my computer memory um, the iTunes media folder um, from my old computer and so I'm going to go ahead and right click and paste that from my memory um, right into the same location that um, I had deleted the um, the fresh empty iTunes uh, media folder from alright so it's there now and uh, I can go ahead and close this out and at this point I'm going to go ahead back into iTunes on my new computer and hopefully my songs are there yes they are so I did that correctly um, which is great all my new songs are here and as well as um, my um, playlist and I didn't have any apps but if I had had some apps uh, they would also have been um, in my new um, iTunes installation on my new computer okay um, that's it um, this is Nick with Nick's computer fix and uh, thanks for watching and please subscribe